you welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be painting some pieces from the garden so I love this time of year it's supposed to be summer but today it's lashing rain and I want to film a video but the show must go on I am going to be painting some pieces from the garden so I have this wishing well and um, it's a little wooden wishing well that I picked up back in winter and it's been sitting all winter underneath the tree and it doesn't match my garden as you see my garden is really colourful and um, so I'm going to give it a little makeover today with some Authentico outdoor paint. So I treat my garden like it's another room in the house like I don't have a huge house and I'm obsessed with having like a cottage garden and um, so I love planting my bulbs and all my little flowers but I love when little accessories and and like garden furniture can then blend in so chalk paint it's not just for inside I have a paint today that is specially made for outdoor use so today I'm going to be using the Authentico Versant matte basically it can be used outdoors or in really moist areas if you've followed my blog for a while you will know that I have used tons of this brand in my house it's what I use to paint my kitchen cabinets my front door I painted a fabric chair. I have used this brand for tons of things throughout the years. So I'm kind of experienced in using it, but I have never tried using it outside on furniture. So quickly summarize my thoughts on the outdoor paint. Pros, tons and tons of colours. You can have like any colour you want and you can get them really nice shabby chic country cottage colours like the greens, the pastels, whereas if you go to the DIY shop and buy the stuff off the shelf, you're really limited in the colours you can get. Another pro is coverage. I have, I'll try and open the tin, like half, if not a little more, left in my tin from doing two coats on my wishing well um, and my little hedgehog house as well. So coverage, although it's a bit more pricier than what you will get in the local hardware store, you get tons of coverage and you get to have the colours that you actually want. The only one con about the brand is you have to get it from a specialist stockist. Um, so you can't just go to the DIY shop and pick it up off the shelf but if you check their website they have a list of stockists and Ursula who's out in trim um, I'll pop her um, website name here she I have bought tons of paint off her and she will courier it to me and I'll get it like next day or two days and um, so if you know what you want um, you can literally just I just mail her on Facebook give her my colour, she orders it and I have it within a day or two days. So it's the only con is you can't just go in and buy it from like the hardware shop, but it is worth the wait. So have a little look at my wishing well, let me know what you think. Please tag me in your projects. I am loving when you tag me in your projects on Instagram because then I can share them on my stories. Um, let me know if you are going to tackle anything in the garden or if you have like any projects. Are you going to do your tables, your chairs or do you have some like little cute planters you're going to use? And as always, thank you so much for watching and if I could have a cheeky subscribe and a thumbs up and I will chat you all soon. piece after the first coat of paint. I'm actually really happy with the coverage of the first coat. Um, I had thought about leaving it with one coat but I think because it's going outside I'm going to do two coats. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back to it. Because I am going to be putting plants and stuff I didn't bother. I just painted enough inside so when my soil goes in it's not going to be um, you're not going to see any brown because my soil is probably going to come up to about here. Um, so that's why I didn't paint all of the inside because I didn't want to waste my paint. I've got a little contrasting colour for um, the little hardware there um, but I just went over it with the cream first and then at the very end I'm going to get a small brush and I'm going to go all the way around there um, and put on the winter grey colour to give it a bit of contrast. 